What is up guys, Jake from One Hive here with the next Coffee and Clash video. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Maybe this video will help it get started right. Uh, let's get into the questions. First one from Zeno Zodiac. Where did the name Shattered, Cold-Blooded, and Stoned come from? Interesting question. Um, back in the day when hybrid attacks were first being developed, uh, Hulk from Reddit Troopers at the time uh, really had, had a YouTube channel. I uh, did a lot of things like I did as far as you know, war-focused content, teaching strategies, things like that. And he thought that there was a big difference, and he was right. There was a big difference in even just saying the goho uh, between using one golem, two golems, three golems. Uh, you know, uh, back in the day of Holo Wee Wee, whether there was you know a ton of balloons and a few hogs, or just a few balloons and a ton of hogs and things like that. So he he came up with some. Just some names for these things and so he actually coined those phrases of cold-blooded stoned uh shattered all of that stuff uh so you know he, he retired from clash a long long time ago but uh, definitely an influential figure in the whole uh development of war and all that stuff so all credit goes to my boy uh, hulk for that uh, i haven't talked to him in forever hope he's doing well uh next one's from flip uh Biz bizdick Okay, do you think that cannons doing two times damage uh, to miners and bowlers would be a good way to nerf the spam attacks? No, I don't, because it has to be something that affects the mass of troops. You know, when you had when they had a problem with the hogs, they put in the, the giant bombs, that affects all the hogs in that area. So it's got to be something along those lines to where it makes large, because the reason they're overpowered, the reason they're too strong, is if you've got healers on them, or even if you just got a lot of tanking in front of something, um, and you're dropping heal spells on them, when it affects a large number of troops, you're getting so much HP put back into your army all at once from the heals from the healers, from the heals from your uh, you know heal spells, things like that. So it's got to be something that affects large groups of troops. I don't know what the answer is. Maybe wizard towers, maybe wizard towers and mortars should do you know times two damage to uh, bowlers and valks or things like that. I don't know. Um, but I would love to see some things tested, but who knows if that's even in the works or anything like that. I have no idea, no knowledge of anything even uh, being coming through the pipe uh, as far as like a nerf to, to mass attacks and things like that. All we can do is wait and hope, uh, but I don't think point defense buffs would get the job done. Uh, Josh Morph Mathis. He's a question, where is the balancing blog? Seems like SC dropped a load of content on us, fixed the crashing, uh, then went on summer vacation. Do you think this... Uh, this was just to give it the appearance that they were. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm reading that. Just to give the appearance that they were turning their new leaf. Completely understand if you don't want to air this question. Also, it was great to meet you at Chicago Live, Josh. Great to meet you as well, man. I love meeting everyone at Chicago Live. That was such a good event. Um, yeah, don't you know? I wish I had an answer for you, man. I really do because I, you, you know me, how excited I was the the banning of the monitors and the the balancing blog, and they were in touch and they were they were do, they were moving all in this right direction, and then almost as quickly as it came, it's gone, and we hear nothing from them. Uh, modding is back almost to the point where it was before, probably if not just as much, um, and if Supercell is on vacation, <laughs> so that just is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. I can't explain it. It boggles the mind. They have a billion dollar company and they're on vacation, so. Um, I, I really wish I could tell you more. I really do. But this is something that is just, I think, something we have to accept. This is the way it is. It's probably the way it always will be. Uh, we thought we had a new company in our hands, but it turns out nothing has changed. So it's unfortunate, but it is what it is, man. Uh, Ezeal, is that you said that? Jerk De, De Leon. Hope I said that close enough. Sorry if I butchered it. Uh, that's an easy question. You've been in YouTube for quite a long time now. How do you feel about your sub count? Well, I don't really, you know, honestly, to be, I mean, I know about where I'm at. I have no idea what my quote sub count is. I don't look at it. I don't think about it. I'm proud of every sub that I've ever had. Uh, I thought it was a great accomplishment to break 100,000. Now I'm over 120,000, somewhere in there. Um, and so I'm proud of it. I, I don't, I don't, you know, compare myself to others and worry about, oh, well, this person's got more subs than me or I've got more subs than them. I've never looked at it like that. This has never been a job for me. It's been something I love to do. Uh, so that's why I did it. And I think it's been great. It's been a great, uh, you know, it's been two years. I didn't realize it until my last stream someone told me that it was actually been two years since my first video. 
Um, and it's been an amazing two years. It's been fun. And it has been something that I always remember. So, um, you know, again, the numbers just don't mean a lot to me. I hope I've made the game more fun for, for a lot of people. And if that's the case, then I'm happy. Uh, Br- Brising, Brisinger Stanner? I think that's how you'd say that. Okay, question. Hey, Jake, what's your opinion on emulators like Bluestacks that allow you to play COC on the PC? I've heard that emulators like that are often used for modding, cheating reasons, but I'm thinking, talking strictly for fair play. I uh, never would have gotten into COC without Bluestacks. You know, it's interesting because I've never done anything like that. I don't, I can't imagine playing on a computer, playing Clash on a computer. I'm so used to doing it with my hands. Um, I can't see what the downside is as far as like, you know, quote, unquote, not being fair play if you play on a computer. Actually, I think it's probably more of a hindrance than it is an advantage. Um, just because you got one mouse and one one click, you know, when someone can do two, three finger drops and all those things like that, you can do that. You, you know, I think it's, I, I got no problem with it. You know, as long as it's not a, a method of modding or cheating, what does it matter, you know, what you play on? Um, I've heard Supercell comment on this, and I don't really think they have a deep down problem with it because they know that tons of YouTubers uh, and streamers have, have used it and shown it being used. So I don't think they really look down on it that much, even though I think it does say that, that you're not supposed to do it. I don't get it. Who knows? Um, I don't look at it as any form of not being fair play. Uh, so, you know, blue stack it up, man. Whatever. It's cool. Um, Bailey S. Would you ever consider pushing, maybe to get to Legend or Titan? I really like pushing and think I would enjoy watching you try to do it. No, I probably would never will. Um, I did it back way back in the day when I first turned Town Hall 9. Uh, actually, I started pushing when I was Town Hall 8 and turned Town Hall 9. Uh, and then I got to Champions and really did not enjoy the experience. Um, wasn't something I would want to do again. You know, it doesn't mean, I think everyone knows, and no disrespect to anyone that enjoys trophy pushing, that's awesome. I'm glad you enjoy that part of the game. Uh, I don't think it takes any skill. I think it takes an incredible time commitment to get up there really, really high. Um, but I don't think there's any real skill that required for it, especially in the state of the game right now with mass attacks that can basically three-star bases. Uh, so not really something I'm interested in, but uh, I know a lot of people do enjoy it, so that's cool. Anthony Waldener, why is Supercell so quiet this year? No events, no hype, n- nothing really. Or am I just living under a rock? No, you just are, you are living in the real world. Um, I don't know. Again, going back to that same answer before, I have no idea what's going on with Supercell. I don't know why they, they don't do things that they should do. Uh, I have encouraged them. I have talked to them directly and indirectly through videos. I have done everything that is humanly possible uh, to try to encourage them to, uh, you know, have events, to do live events, and all the things that that they should be doing. Uh, talked about it leading up to, to ClashCon, but it's just not reality. That's not what's happening. It's likely not ever going to happen, um, and it's it, it's unfortunate. But uh, you know, no, you you are seeing it correct, sir. Um, nothing is happening. We don't hear from them anymore. It's been months since we've heard anything really from them. Um, and as far as a live event, I guess ClashCon was the last live event. You know, that year prior, there was a lot of live events. They were not well done, but they were live, and they were. It was activity. It was showing Clash. It showing Supercell cared about Clash and cared about you know pushing that game forward. This year, nothing. So I, you know, I don't know. It makes it it boggles the mind. But I think there's just no one at the wheel. I think to be perfectly bluntly honest, this is a just a rocket of a, of a company that went from nothing to one of the biggest gaming companies in the world and no one is really at the helm. Um, no one is really keeping people's uh, you know nose to the grindstone. No one is doing that there. There's no supervision. Um, it's just sort of a I don't know it's like a it's almost like a, a hippie thing like a, like a free you know just everybody do your best type thing you know everybody everybody gets a trophy when you when you try hard I, I don't I can't explain it because I don't understand it um, but it's 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 not good uh, Chun Hong Jake is a lot younger and sexier than I thought hashtag weird hashtag not weird I appreciate the compliment jeez not weird at all it's awesome. All right, Arno, one of my patrons got a question here. Hey, Jake, Mass Bowler's nerf is one of the hot topics right now. As baby dragons are able to behave differently if they are alone or next to other air troops, we uh, could imagine bowlers, valks, and witches use the same kind of mechanism and have a troop nerf where next to uh, to, next to many other bowlers, valks, witches, 
no rock rebounds, less attack speed, less skeletons, skeletons not trigger traps, etc. Uh, this would be a smart way to nerf the mass attack. Don't you think so? I love the idea. I love the idea. I think it's a good one. I think it's a it's an interesting different way of, of quote unquote nerfing, not really nerfing, but just sort of getting in line uh, the the overpoweredness of these particular troops when they're all grouped together. Especially at Town Hall 11 when you get the Grand Warden buff, and I mean, it's just a, the more the merrier. <laughs> the more troops you can get in one location, the stronger the attack is. Shouldn't be that way. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a great plan. Should be tested out. I doubt it will be. Rachel B. CNC question to you. Another one of my uh, patrons here. Uh, what defenses a, oh, excuse me, what defines, sorry, can't read, a skilled clasher? What makes an attack strategy require skill? Sometimes I question whether uh, the threes from non-spam attacks are because of the player and the practice experience or if it's just the troop strategy base. Love your work from Clash from the beginning. Thanks. Thank you, Rachel. Um, to me, what defines skill in a Clasher is the ability to, to do many things and to do many things at once. And that's why I say spam attacks don't require a lot of skill or pushing doesn't require a lot of skill because you only have to do one thing. You create your funnel and you send all of your troops in. That's just one thing at a time. But when you have to have your kill squad going in, your queen walk going one direction, your kill squad going in, take the queen out uh, and dealing with that, and then you're deploying your hogs from the backside or your loons from the backside and you're dropping spells and you're watching your king's ability, you're watching your queen's ability, and you're doing it all at the same time, that requires skill. And if you don't think so, if you haven't ever done it, try it. You'll feel like you are completely lost in the attack. But time after time of doing it, doing it, doing it over and over and over, you get better. And in my mind, that is what skill is, something that you have to practice. And then you get better at it. And other people can't do it. And you can because you've put the work in. Uh, so really, that's how I define skill in Clash. Um, you know, people that just have these intricate attacks that have diff different segments, different parts of the attack, and they can do it all fluidly, seamlessly, and many times uh, with multiple segments of the attack going on at once. Those are the attacks that impress me. All right, guys, that is it for the CNC questions. Thank you guys so much for all the questions. Uh, we'll be streaming some this weekend, probably on Sunday, and then I know one next week, uh, so be looking out for that. Hope to see you guys there. Until then, Jake from One Hive doing my best to help you guys suck less.